Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about lazy keyword. So basically, the lazy keyword means that when you define a property with lazy, that property is not going to have any initial value. Like generally what happens that when you create any object, let's say that for example, here I have this first name and last name. So when this person class is created, like at this point of time, these two object will have some memory, will have some value. But if I use the lazy keyword, then when you initialize the class, then at that point of time, it will not have any value. So until unless you call that object, that object will not take any memory. And that's the reason that we use lazy keyword in few scenarios when you want to create some like heavy object in your class and that object will be required in certain scenarios, not like that you're always going to use that object. So in such cases, it's better to use lazy keyword. Okay, so we will see the uses of lazy keyword and how the lazy keyword can be asked in some of the coding question in the interview. Okay, so let's declare a variable with lazy keyword. So here you have this lazy var and then see you have this closure stored property declaration. Okay, so I'll just use this and you can see that you have lazy and then you have var. Okay, now here the first question which comes generally that can you declare a lazy with let keyword. So if you see that when you when I declare the lazy variable, it came lazy with a var. Okay. Now the answer here is that you cannot declare a lazy with a late keyword. Okay. Now why? Because see when you declare something with a late keyword, that means it's a constant. That means its initial value is determined. Okay? But in the case of a lazy variable, when you are defining this variable, this variable will not be initialized at at the time of definition, it will be only in slice when you call that variable, okay? And that's the reason that we cannot have late keyword with lazy, okay? So let's call this as full name, and the type is going to be string, okay? And inside that you can have statements, it's not like if you want to call some function, that also we can do, but in this case, we don't have any function. I'll just return the value as first name plus last name. Okay, so now I have this person object and then I can print my lazy value, so dot full name, okay. So it will give me my name, Nilesh Jha, okay. Now, it also looks something similar to a computer property, like in computer property, we also do the same thing. We don't have this lazy keyword and then this opening closing bracket. But rest kind of thing, it's similar. Let's say that if I have to write a computer property, so let me just copy and paste it. I'll just call it as full name computed. So in this case, it will be something like this. Okay, so both looks little similar, but they are actually very different. So here now comes your second part of the question that what is lazy variable? Is it stored or it is computed? And if it is not computed, then how it is different from the computer property. Okay, now to understand this, that how it is different from a computer property, let's see this both the example. Okay, so now I have this full name, which I'm using the lazy keyword, it's a lazy property. And this is a computer property with full name computed. Okay, now I'm printing both it here one by one. So now you can see that it will print Nilesh Shah two times. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my name person dot full name equals to or not full name person dot uh, first name. I'll call it as mobile trainer. Okay. Now after this, let's print one more time both the value and I'll just draw a boundary so that I can differentiate. Okay. Now if you see this time what changes. So if you see that the full name is still Nilesh Shah, but this full name computed, this got changed to mobile trainer Shah. 
Now here comes the difference between the lazy and the computed uh, keyword. So lazy property are stored property. That means that by the time you have not called this object, it is not having any value, it is not having any memory, but the moment you call it, whatever the value at that time you will provide to it, it will just behave same as something similar to the moment you call it, it becomes like this let or no. In this case, where full name equals to this. Okay. And that's the reason that when you are changing this for full name, oh sorry, we are changing this first name, it's not affecting this uh, lazy property. But in the case of computed property, as computed property don't have any value, whenever you call that object, every time it will just return the value based on at that point of time, what is the value of first name and what is the value of last name. Okay, so that's a major difference that the lazy is more kind of we can say that it's a stored property, lazy stored property, not the computed property. Now here one more question sometimes asked that can we change the value of lazy property? Now let's try to do that. So here I am trying to write person dot uh, full name equals to iOS trainer. Okay. And after that I'll just give one more boundary and print it. And you can see that you can change the value of a lazy store property. It's, it's just as simple as it is that you have a store property and if it is a var, you can always change the, the value of the store property. And the same thing applies for the lazy keyword as well. Okay. Now let's see one common problem which is generally asked in the interview on a lazy keyword. Okay. So let me just copy and paste it. Okay, so this is a common problem which you will see. So here if you see that we have a class called foo and inside that we have one lazy variable uh, called x which is integer type and it print x returns null. And then you have a function y which is again returning integer optional printing y and then it's return x else it ret returns a hard coded value 4 and then you have a third variable z. Okay. Now the question is that you created a foo object and then you are calling foo dot y that means this and then if it is nil then you are calling foo dot jet and what will the print statement. Let's see the output. So foo is calling y so it comes here and then it prints y that means the first print statement will be y and then it returns x that means it will call this lazy variable x and it will print x that means the next print statement will be x and then you are returning nil right that means now the moment you return nil what it will happen it will return here 4 because it's checking for nil collocasing operator here that means the compiler will not go and execute this foo.jet it will just remain in foo.y only and the output will be yx so let's run and see the output and if you can see the output it's printing y and x okay so that's all about the lazy keyword hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and if you have really enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you